Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to paint another bigger canvas painting and I'm going to paint an Asian landscape again and it, I'm going to put an elephant and it will be a bigger elephant on a river uh, this was requested by my friend Richard and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet Okay everyone, so before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So I still be using limited colors in my palette and I have the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow and the raw amber. So I'm using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. And if you ha don't have raw amber, you can use burnt amber or burnt china. And if you're using burnt china, you can use, you can mix it with blue and red to make it dark or look like black or if you want to have some darker tones okay and these are my brushes I will be using almost similar brushes that I used in the previous bigger canvas tutorial and I'll be using um, where is it? Okay. so I'll try to use this one which is the number 2 inches nylon flat brush short handle uh, Number 12 nylon flat brush, uh, so long handled. Um, 11 nylon flat brush, a uh, bristle flat brush, I'm sorry. Bristle flat brush, long handled. Number 8 nylon flat brush, long handled. And I also have here uh, number 6 um, bristle front brush. Number 7 nylon flat brush, short handled. Number three, nylon flat brush, short handle. And number uh, zero, liner brush for the details. You can also use run brush. Number one, um, zero, double zero, triple zeros. You can use any of that. You can choose which one you like. And water to thin the paint. And water spray if ever we're gonna need uh, to wet our canvas and it will be easier for us to blend the colors. Okay, and this is my canvas. It's um, 16 by 22 inches. It's a three cuts of prime gesso I made it myself. And it's smaller than the previous one, but I think this one is also bigger than most of my, most of the canvases that I use it, um, on my um, past tutorials okay so I think I'm gonna start now and I'm going to do the um, underpainting first which is as usual I'm gonna do the underpainting the background colors yeah that will be um, that should be do first okay so I'll be using we're gonna do a little sketching first and I'll be using this number eight flat brush and the raw umber so I'm gonna put the elephant here I'm gonna paint a pretty big elephant there so this will be the elephant on this side or maybe here so it will be on a, on a river very still river and I'm gonna put some big trees here it will be a little forest and also here I'm gonna put a river bank and of course I will be painting forest on its on its on its back pretty huge forest on its back and this will be a little distant forest here 
with some bluish stone colors or background or it'll be a little misty there so it will just be a simple landscape okay then next we're gonna put the background colors so i'll be using the flat brush and dip the dip the tip of the to the water first make it wet and i'm gonna use some blue and white and somewhere to make it a little purples purple because i want it to me i want this to be a little on a sunset or afternoon scene that's why i'm gonna use some purple and white You can actually spray it with water if it feels hard. I'm going to try to mount this with my ACL. Okay, so it won't dance. You can wet it with canvas, I uh, with water, make it a little wet. Remember everyone, it's, it's not yet, uh, this is not yet the final. So we're doing the background or the underpainting first. Okay, so. I'm gonna use another brush here. This is a little smaller, smaller, and it has I think one inch bristle, and it has number twelve number. Okay, and this part here will be a little bluish, so I'm gonna use the blue color with the raw umber and some white. I'm gonna put a little red to make it purple. Red. I think I'm gonna refill my white. I'm gonna put some more red and the raw umber, the blue, and the red. It should be darker than the than the sky.
this will be some forest here, some trees or whatever. Okay. And also this one here. I'm gonna make that dark, so I'm gonna use the raw umber. This will be a very dark forest. But I also need some blue stone there. Not just brown, but blue. Also red and green. Of course, I'm gonna put some green. But I'm gonna do first some blue. You can put whatever colors you want here, as long as it will become dark, that will be good. You can put some more blue. And some yellow to make some greens. Don't worry everyone, uh, we're painting first the uh, backgrounds. Maybe I'll just make this um, misty later. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll just make do it now. So I'm going to add more white. So I'm going to use some more white here with some blue and red to make some purples. And let's make this sky lighter so some red and white So we can see now some browns on our sky. It's okay, it doesn't matter. Just don't put green in it. And we need to also to put some white. There, I love this. I love this canvas, it's very smooth. And some more purples, blue and reds. I'm gonna put it here. Need some white. So this is uh, this. Um, I want to you to. I want to show you that um, it's okay to commit. Um, if you want to change something, you can change it in time. You can retouch, you can cover some parts. You can you can change the colors by retouching it. This is what I do most of the time guys. I retouch, I change, I cover. Do not limit yourself. Um, this is the problem with the beginners because uh, when they do something they just um, they are afraid to redo that they are um, afraid to to retouch they are afraid to to change because um, that might cause a mess or um, they might um, feel with that so my advice is not, do not be afraid to to change something if you think it's um, it's odd or it's if you think you don't like it okay there so I'm going to continue I'm going to add some more blue and red a purple I'm sorry to make it purple 
and I'm going to retouch here to make this part lighter because I am paint I'm making here a misty forest. I'm gonna add more white there. Now let's continue on this part here. So more blue color with red. So I think I'm going to continue adding more. red or whatever whatever um, tones you're gonna put there it's fine so this one is a little brownish I'll just make this part um, solid. Okay. There you go. Okay, so this part will be a big river so I'll be using this blue here with some white I'm just gonna put the river first so always remember that this is just the first coats so I think I'm gonna refill some blue color Uh, 
and of course I'm white And I'll be using some darker bluish color for this part here so that we can put the, the reflection of the water. So it's not final yet, or it's anywhere. Which some green tones there. Hmm, yes. And add some more raw amber and blue. Can put some more darker shades, and of course some lighter shades also with a little greenish color. There. Now I'm gonna use some more raw umber and let's put the river bank there. I'm gonna put some blue. This will be the river bank. So let's also put some the the underpainting here for the riverbank. There. You can put whatever color to. So uh, you want there as long as it, be it will become dark that will be okay 
so that's why I'm putting that red or raw umber or whatever. there so using this raw amber thing I'm gonna put the elephant here so this will be the leg I'm not sure but I think I'm gonna make it bigger yes Okay, so I think I'm done with my with the background colors or the first coats or the underpainting, whatever I'm gonna call it. So on the next episode, on the next part, I'm going to um, add some details here first before yes, detail here first on the. But I think I'm going to um, draw first the outline of this elephant before we're gonna proceed here. That will be in the next uh, on the part two of this tutorial. So it's important to do. It's important to do first the backgrounds before you're gonna put the foregrounds. You're gonna paint the foregrounds because uh, you want to miss. You don't want to cover up some parts here on the foreground. Okay, so this is not yet final, guys. Um, yeah, I know that you know that. Um, this is not it. This is not the final yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the uh, highlights late uh, on the next episodes. Okay, I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you get something and learn something out of this tutorial, and so that you can apply it on your own, can you can learn. So this um, the usual way when I start painting, I always paint first the backgrounds or the underpainting before I'm gonna put the highlights or the details. So this normally I do when I do some um, masterpieces or whatever you're gonna call that or some commissions. So this is normally um, the process I'm, I'm doing. Okay. So please hit like, add some comment, subscribe for more videos in the future. If you are painting, just follow what I'm, what I'm doing and just have fun painting and I hope you get something out of this. And that's it so thank you guys have a nice day and god bless you all all the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the lord